My Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Tonight I have some oxtail, some rice and peas, and some vegetables. Um, I am so tired. When I tell you that I was slaving away in the kitchen to make this meal, I was. <sighs> Let me tell you, filming and cooking is a whole different beast. I've taken little snippets of me cooking before, but to actually make this stuff, especially since the oxtail takes forever to cook, and I chose not to use a pressure cooker, I'm so tired. I'm going to dig in because I'm starving. So I, I put the oxtail in this container just because it's a lot of sauce happening in here, but I'm going to show you how big these oxtail pieces are. They're huge. Because you know... When I do it, I do it right, right? It's dripping in sauce and it's falling off the bone. I want to give a shout out to um, Felicia Alexandra. She was one of the winners of my giveaway. So I had um, my first giveaway today and it went really well. I went live and I said who the winners were. So winners, Please DM me. I'm gonna get into this veggie before I get into that axe still. If this reminds me of the beel of sauce because it's so saucy. Now, if you watch the giveaway, the live that I did, you know that I said that when I made um, things like oxtail or other Jamaican foods that I would make some specially for subscribers who commented and said that they wanted some. No, I'm not going to do this for everyone, but I'll do this for like one of the people who comment. I mean, it won't be every time, just sometimes. Because you know, this stuff is expensive. But the whole idea of me sending um, things that I do in my videos is so that you guys, you guys get to experience what I'm eating. So that you know, when I say that this stuff is good, it's actually good. My mouth is watering because I'm so hungry. This stuff took forever. And I didn't eat. I hate eating my rice with a fork. Because you know. Look how red that rice and peas is. I usually I'm lazy when I make rice and peas, so I don't use the dry beans. But I did it just because I was making this video for y'all. And it reminded me of what I've been missing. I'm going to take up another bone, but this one was just falling apart. Look at it. Mm. So good. Guys, if you, eat, if you like oxtail, you know what I'm going through right now. I'm in beef heaven. And I know my Jamaicans out there love oxtail. This is like a Sunday dinner for us. Um, so tonight, I wanted to piggyback on something that I spoke about before which was where I was from now I don't want to go into details of where I was from again but I do want to say the reason why well one of the reasons why I work so hard why my husband and I work so hard 
And while we are so calculated with the things that we do, I'm just trying to scoop up some sauce. Look at that. <laughs> while we are so calculated with the things that we do, it's because we know what it feels like to have nothing. We know what it feels like to have nothing. And once you start to attain things in life, nobody wants to go back. So it's like the more you get, the more you work harder. I'm gonna get another piece. Oh my god, it's falling off the bone. This is what I'm talking about, and it's hot too. Mm. Wow. Now, I'm not saying, I'm not saying that if you are born with a lot, that you don't or won't work hard. I'm speaking for myself. And I know that I'm not going back. And especially, I have kids. It's like the moment I had my daughter. I knew that I wasn't just living for me or my husband or my family. I knew that my purpose is to leave her a legacy and to leave her a life that is better than what I had. You know, to leave her something that she can build on and so that the rest of my bloodline never see poverty again. That's my goal. You know, I know that a lot of people can relate to that because a lot of us are parents and these are some of the things that keep us up at night what are we leaving behind what are we leaving for our kids I know my mom made sure that my life was better than hers and she afforded me opportunities that she didn't have so I'd be damned if I'm going to squander it. I don't go through life and feeling entitled or feeling like, you know, everything out there belongs to me. I go out there with, with gratitude with being appreciative and being hopeful and knowing that every day I'm going to try to be a good person and to work hard and stay in my lane. And when I say stay in my lane, I mean like a lot of people see other people with things and they want it too. Sometimes we see other people with things and we want it. Or you know, we say, oh, I wish it was me. Look at that. I try not to do that. And the reason why, you don't know what another person had to do to get what they have. You don't know if the sacrifices that they made, if you'd be willing to do it too. You just don't know. You just need to do you. Because the moment you start doing things because other people do it, or wanting things because other people have it, you won't get anywhere because your heart isn't into it. You're just doing it because somebody else, wa somebody else wanted it. I can't see myself living like that. So when I dip this in here, I have chunks of oxtail, like rendered down oxtail on my cucumbers. Look at this. 
food. You remember how I said the bee love sauce is like a gravy, like a sauce. If you like had meat and, well I said chicken, but if you have meat and veggies that render down and stew down, this is what it is. <sighs> and these peppers. Now, I know I went on a rant, but when I was about to film, I was thinking like, what am I going to talk about tonight? And I think that's really important for you though. Something that you should know about, about me. When other people gain success. I root for them. I'm genuinely happy for them. Because I know that nothing comes easy for anyone, no matter how much a person have. I know how hard I have to work to get everything that I have. I know all the sacrifices I made to get everything that I have. And so when I see others, I know that, wow, they must have overcome something. You know, so kudos to them. I'm happy for you. And when people give me things or allow me to get on, I don't ignore it. I'm thankful. You know, I'm really grateful for everything. Every hand that was extended, every well wish that I get. I'm thankful because these are the little things that help to motivate us make us feel better when we have when we're not when we're having a not so good day every time somebody do something for me I thank them Guys, I wish I could eat more, but I'm really full. These oxtail bones are huge. I'm not interested in finishing this rice. I love it, but I've been eating too much rice. I'm going to keep this video short. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys next time.